Hey everyone, there were a couple of non-COVID deaths this past week, notably the Argentine footballer Maradona, who finally kicked the bucket, or should I say punched the bucket, at the age of 60. Whilst in England the passing was celebrated by many, he was of course deeply mourned in both Argentina and Scotland. I'm guessing that as a mark of respect there was maybe some talk about removing all the white lines from the side of the pitch, seeing as our Maradona largely died at age 60 because he cut more lines than an Audi driver in a hurry. Anyway, elsewhere, the Iranian nuclear scientist Mosin Frakizadeh, however you pronounce it, he was gunned down in his car, raising many questions in the media like, how do you pronounce his name? Because frankly, it's spelled like something that Network Rail would hang outside a train station in Wales. Nonetheless, the Iranian regime has been pretty quick to blame Israel for all of it. For a number of reasons, I guess. Number one, President Trump didn't tweet responsibility, so it couldn't be the US. Number two, Mosin wasn't a Russian dissident, so it couldn't have been them. More importantly, number three, an Israeli cabinet minister went on record saying he had, quote, no clue, whilst presumably smirking behind a face mask, perhaps secretly sticking his tongue out when no one could see him. Or maybe it was on a Zoom call when he was holding some very crossed fingers just out of camera shot. You know, it's an odd time you live in, I guess. Who would have thought that a year ago, that within 12 months you could potentially be arrested for walking into a bank and not wearing a mask. What else is in the news? Well, apparently the UK and France have reached an agreement to tackle migrants crossing the English Channel with, quote, special equipment. Presumably boats. Maybe boats armed with a gun or two. Talk about the obvious, though. You know, it's like that jailbreak song by Thin Lizzy. You know, there's a lyric in it, tonight there's going to be a jailbreak somewhere in this town, and you think, presumably at the prison. Oh well, the Navy and the Armed Forces are secretive enough at the best of times, I imagine. I remember once asking a friend who's an officer what the lowest rank in the army was, and he said, it's private. And I said, come on, mate, you've known you 20 years. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.